Are you ready to blow the family away with a restaurant quality chicken dish they never saw coming? Stuffed chicken has a bad reputation for being finicky and difficult, but I'm going to show you the easiest way to prepare it. To kick off the stuffing, you'll need one 10 ounce package of frozen chopped spinach thawed and drained. You'll also need a quarter cup of chopped sun-dried tomatoes, half of a shallot minced, two large cloves of garlic, also minced, one cup of freshly grated fontina or mozzarella cheese. Just come in with a fork and get this really nice and mixed up. And now we move on to the hard part. That's actually not the hard part. We're going to cut a pocket into the chicken breast. Before you take a knife to this chicken, you wanna take some paper towels and just pat it really dry. Not only is this going to help your chicken to stay still on the cutting board, but it's also going to help the seasoning to stay adhered. So what you wanna do is hold the chicken breast flat, run your knife down the center, not all the way to the end, because what you wanna do is just create a pocket. You don't wanna cut it all the way in half. So I stopped just right about a half inch from the end, and now we're gonna repeat with the other three chicken breasts. Now listen, if you cut through the chicken breasts, like I just did, you can see I made a hole right here. What you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you don't put it on the baking sheet like this, put it on the baking sheet like this. Nobody will ever know. We know this chicken is already going to be packed with flavor on the inside, but we have to make sure that it's packed with flavor on the outside as well. So we're gonna get our seasoning mix all brought together. For the seasoning, we'll be using one and three quarter teaspoon kosher salt, one teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon paprika, three quarter teaspoon garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of onion powder. And that's all there is to it. Just give the chicken a drizzle with about a tablespoon of oil and rub it all over. Sprinkle with the seasoning and rub it in. You wanna add about two to three tablespoons of filling to each breast. Okay, now listen, a lot of recipes out there are gonna tell you that you need to secure the chicken and get out the toothpicks. We are not going that route. We are gonna bake this chicken as is, and guess what? When it comes out of the oven, it's going to look oozy and colorful and totally gorgeous. Now we're just transferring this chicken over to a rimmed baking sheet. You wanna make sure that you use a baking sheet with plenty of room for air to circulate around each chicken breast. Bake at 375 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes, depending on just how large your chicken breasts are. Do you see why I'm saying there is no need to secure that chicken closed? Look how gorgeous that filling is. I like to serve it alongside a heaping scoop of buttery mashed potatoes and fresh green beans for a well-rounded dinnertime meal. If you're looking for more yummy ways to spruce up your chicken dinner, be sure to check out my Mexican Ranchero Chicken Casserole next.